Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are tackling a critical topic in well control, the difference between preventive measures and mitigation controls in the case of a kick. Faranad, let's start with preventive measures. Absolutely, Gabrielle. Preventive measures are the actions we take before a kick happens to avoid getting into trouble. For example, maintaining the correct mud weight is one of the most important. If the mud weight is high enough to balance the formation pressure, no influx will occur. Good one. And don't forget about flow checks, regularly stopping drilling to check if the well is flowing when it shouldn't. It's a simple but powerful preventive step. Exactly. Also, we rely on kick detection systems like monitoring pit volumes, flowout rates, and pump pressures. An unexpected increase in pit level or flowout means something's wrong. Now, if a kick has happened despite those preventive steps, that's where mitigation controls come in. Right. Mitigation controls are the actions we take after a kick is detected to control and safely remove it. First step, shut the well in immediately using the bob. Then you monitor the shut-in pressures, SIDPP and SICP, and start circulating out the influx using a method like the driller's method or weight and weight method. Mitigation is all about limiting the consequences once prevention fails. And remember, having kill sheets ready, a well-trained crew, and clear procedures are all part of good mitigation. Exactly. So to sum up, preventive measures stop a kick from happening, mitigation controls safely manage a kick when it occurs. By using a diverter system during a shallow gas kick, it won't stop the kick, but it redirects the gas safely away from people and equipment. And both are essential for safe drilling operations. Stay sharp out there.